I remember seeing Harry on X Factor. 11 year old me was like, oh boys are cute. And I was convinced he was the only man for me. Didn't expect that. <laughs> My name is Maria, I'm from Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Megan, I'm from Liverpool, and, and I, I saw, saw Harry, Harry Styles, Styles front, front row. row. I have been a fan of Harry Styles since he was in One Direction. At the time, one of my neighbors came over to my house and she popped up her laptop, played What Makes You Beautiful, like the music video. At that point, I knew like, okay, the guy with the curly hair, that's the one I like. I've been a fan of Harry Styles since he was on The X Factor in One Direction. I was gonna marry him when I was about 14, but now, you know, I'm 21 and I understand I'm not gonna marry him. I have seen One Direction slash Harry Styles eight times. I saw Harry when he was in One Direction six times. I've seen Harry twice on his own and the first time was November 2017. We camped for 36 hours and it was on Halloween night. Despite being there for 36 hours, we actually only got second row. <laughs> the most memorable concert out of all of them, I would say, is Fine Line, live one night only. I wasn't able to get tickets on Ticketmaster because they sold out so quick, but I was so sad that day. I went on Twitter and I looked for people selling a ticket. I found someone that was selling one ticket for like $500. I bought it without thinking. This was the first time I was front row at any concert. So when it came to 2018, I decided I really, really, really wanted to be front row this time. It was also gonna be in Manchester Arena and it was my first time back there since being at the Ariana Grande attack the year before, which really, kind of changed my life completely. And I was actually at the Ariana concert on my own. So when that happened, it was a shock to me because concerts are my safe space and they still are. It took me a while for them to become my safe space again, but I was determined to go and see Harry, who's like my favorite person in the whole entire world. I didn't want it to feel scary anymore. And it still does a little bit, but he made it feel a lot better. So I really, really wanted to replace the memories with positive ones. When I arrived at the forum, the people, that are in charge of numbering is usually the people that get there first, but then they would pass out the wristbands the following morning. Like you had to spend one night there in order for them to give you a bracelet. The last day, like Thursday, people that were arriving were trying to cut in line and they were like, it's not fair. Like forum rules say that you cannot camp here. And it's like, okay, we weren't camping on the forum's property. The forum means that you can't be on their property until certain day, but you can camp out on the sidewalk. Most of the time we tend to overpower a lot of the people who have come late. That happens a lot, like the fans are really good at like keeping it organized. I think they should probably do it for all concerts. It's a really clever way. There is always like a bit of anxiety about it though, because the security staff at the arena won't always follow the number system because that's not how they're taught to operate. The forum was actually honoring our line because we were so organized with it. They were like, okay, we're gonna honor your line. Just keep it organized. If you just kind of help us out, we'll help you out. Obviously when you camp, you're not on your own. I think because you're all there for the same reason and you all share the same love for Harry. I always have fun with the people I meet. I try and be nice to everyone. It's the best. Everyone's always singing Harry songs and dancing and just having an absolute ball. Sunday morning, people were already starting to camp out and I turned to my friend and I was like, okay, it turns out we're gonna have to camp out tonight. There's no way we're gonna camp out on Tuesday as we had originally planned. I drove home, packed a new suitcase and drove to the forum. My parents, they were like, where are you going now? I was like, turns out I have to camp out now. Like I cannot wait until Tuesday. So the first day that we got there, Sunday night, noticed the car that was kind of far away. He just kept on getting closer and he was just like there for a while. We kind of got a little scared. So we called the forum security and they were like, okay, if he bothers you guys, just come and let us know, like we really can't do anything because you guys are not on the forum's property. Wednesday night, my friend and her friend went to McDonald's and McDonald's was closed, but the Uber driver still left them there. They decided to walk to Jack in the Box and then they saw the car that was in the corner of where they were. She immediately called 911. As soon as she called, the car was chasing them down the street. So she crossed the street and then she went into like a drive through lane. And she stood in between cars just so that she was safe. That's when the police picked them up and then they brought them back to the forum. It was our final night because the next day was the album release and most people were gonna be up listening to it. So we were just 
relieved that it was last night. On Thursday night, the album came out. People were still up listening to it out loud, just listening to the album and trying to kind of catch the lyrics and get to know the songs better so we can be able to sing them during the concert. It just felt so nice to be surrounded by like these people who have the same interests as me and we finally get the moment we've been waiting for. The actual show, it was just surrounded by so many people that I loved and obviously Harry was right in front of me and I love him as well. It did not feel real, like the feeling in the room was just something else and then when he stepped into the room it was just like wow like he's right here I can see every single detail of him and he's like standing right here singing the songs for the first time live to us he's so good at interacting with the crowd getting to see him that close is just like surreal it was like mind-blowing we were also very surprised when we saw him bring out Stevie Nicks, him and her singing right in front of me, landslide, like that was an experience. We were just crying. I remember a girl, she had like a giant strawberry costume on and he pointed that out and it was just like, we were all so happy for her because we'd become such close friends over the last few days. Everything was just so amazing and fun. Harry Styles to me means everything. He is like the person that I have followed throughout the years. He's taught me so many different things. He's always reminding people to treat people with kindness, which is something people rarely do. Harry is probably the first celebrity that I ever really looked up to. Every little random horrible event that I went through in life, he was always like there. And even if he's not there to respond to you, his songs are like, you can listen to a song and if it makes you feel this way, if it's about this, it just makes you feel like he's always there for you. He's also a bit of a fashion icon. I'd love to, you know, eventually one day not care as much what people think about me. It's really something I strive for. I love wearing flares and I wear suits a lot now when I go out with my friends. And it's definitely because of him. I would definitely try for a front row again during tour because it's really special seeing him so close up and the way he like scans the crowd like you sometimes are able to get some eye contact or like a wave. I would definitely try and get front row again and it's such an experience as well like it's just so fun and it's definitely worth it especially for people like Harry. Just being able to see him without looking at like the camera just seeing his face really close I think everybody needs to try for front row like at least one time.